Number 8. The Rhino of the Rugby Team Some people are born to play the game of rugby. They are lucky enough to have the physique to impose their will physically, quick enough to keep up with fast play, and they have a fearlessness that allows them to run into brick walls. These people play number 8. And if you've watched any of my past videos, you would have learned that the loose forwards are where power and mobility have to work together in harmony. And in number eight, is no exception. They are the battering ram of the rugby team. Sometimes the gates are shut and you need someone to run it down. That's your number eight. The number eight is probably the easiest player to identify in the scrum. It's the player right at the back with their head between the two locks. They are allowed to have the head between a lock and a flanker, but most teams don't do this because they don't want to lock their flankers in. They serve the team better if they can make a clean break away from the scrum. And along with pushing in the scrum, the number eight's also tasked with controlling the ball at the back of the scrum. They do this by keeping the ball under their feet while the scrum is moving forward. And this is something that teams would only do if their scrum is quite dominant over their opponents. Because the longer the ball remains in the scrum, the more likely their opponents are to do something illegally due to the pressure and therefore they would win a penalty. Also, the longer the ball remains in the scrum, the more likely they are to gain ground and put the opposing team under more defensive pressure. And the opposite is true if it's your scrum that's under pressure. If your scrum's under pressure and tends to move backwards, it's best to get the ball in and out as quickly as possible. And sometimes the number eight gets used to carry the ball straight up the back of the scrum. This is usually to use their ball carrying abilities to try and break through a set defense. And if this doesn't work, that is to try and draw in as many defenders as possible and then provide the team with quick second phase ball. And a phase of play refers to the play that happens from ruck to ruck. So the play that occurs from the scrum to the first ruck is your first phase and then the play from the first ruck to the second ruck is your second phase, and so forth and so forth. So if you've got a strong ball carrying number eight that can either break through the defense or join defenders and then provide quick second phase ball before the defense is able to adequately fall back and get reorganized, the team has a really strong platform of which they can attack. And in the lineout, the number eight is used as both a jumper and a lifter, just not as much as what the tight five is. The amount that they get used would depend on their own ability and the makeup and balance of the rest of the forwards within the team. Otherwise, they play very similar to an open side flanker in that they stay towards the back of the lineout so that they are best placed to reach that first breakdown. And also, they need to compete in the malls, which often form after a lineout. On attack, the number eight is often used as a key ball carrier. Usually when defences are set and there are few opportunities for the backline to exploit. Their job is to carry the ball into the defence strongly and either breaking through the defence or drawing in as many defenders as possible. So your number eight would often make themselves available as a ball carrier to your main ball distributors. And often when the opponents are expected to kick the ball, the number eight will fall back with the fullback and wingers. This is to make themselves available as a strong ball carrier if they can see that the defense is well set for the kick return. And as discussed before, sometimes the number eight would be used to carry the ball off the back of the scrum. At ruck time, a number eight plays a general forwards role. They aren't as focused at trying to poach the ball as a number seven is, nor are they as active in trying to dominate the ruck physically as a lock would be. Instead, number eights play the rucks as they see it. If an opportunity arises for them to poach the ball, they're expected to take it. Otherwise, they've got to try and either win or protect the ball by either pushing or clearing their opponents off it. On defence, a number eight would position themselves wider from the ruck than a tight five player would and closer to it than an outside back. This is due to the generalist nature that loose forwards play in rugby. From this position, they can support the forwards if the opposition decides to take the ball up through their tight five. Alternatively, they can provide support on defence and in the ruck to their backline players if the opposition decides to play the ball wide through their faster players.
Thanks guys, that's all we have on number eight today. If this is the first video of mine that you have come across, I am gonna be posting a link for a playlist in the description. And this playlist would have the videos in order that I would recommend for you to watch my videos. And if you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep doing this. And um, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys, bye-bye.